Welcome, Abrax Precipice, Molox Gambit, where we play the Expanse role playing game here on some Wednesday nights on occasion. Uh, we're back. Everyone's back. It's good. Yeah. Everyone, everyone went off and did things, and we've had a hell of a last month. Uh, I know uh, Donna and Maria were at PAX U. Uh, Mike and I were at LA Comic Con, and Scott was at home in, with the flu. At home with the flu, yeah. <laughs> in, in Illinois, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> So we're uh, we're currently ramping up uh, to the end of Molex Gambit. That is the end of this phase, uh, and so next week is our finale. Uh, we're very excited about that. We're going to have Marquia McCarty on, uh, and uh, we have a giveaway next week too. So please come by for that as well. That's going to be a, a lot of fun. Uh, and I am describing it. I have it written here in my notes as an escalating giveaway. An escalating giveaway, so things could get the the giveaway could escalate. But I'll, I'll more details on that uh, later this week on our social medias, um, and we'll also be debuting uh, next week the uh, name for Phase Four and kind of what the premise of that is and what's going on with that. So we're getting very excited about that. We've kind of like buzzed in behind the scenes about it here. Um, anyone else have any announcements real quick before I go into like our Patreon stuff? Think we're good. I think we're good. I think everyone's just play. <laughs> everyone's just play. Uh, the by above and beyond, the best way to support our show is to uh, jump on our Patreon. Uh, there is the link, and you can uh, go ahead and click that, and you can uh, tip us. You can through Kofi. You can also um, uh, subscribe to our Patreon. Uh, and we're trying right now to get a few of us are trying to get to OrcaCon next month in uh, up and around around Seattle that the Donna runs. Uh, and uh, some of us I know could use help. I will have a link just to going through the chat. Uh, it's me. Spoiler, it's me. <laughs> for, for, it's, it's, it's me. It's <laughs> me. Uh, I'll, I'll put the command into the thing. I made a, I made a command. Oh, my goodness. There it it's is. It's expensive. Oh, it's just my name. It's That's, just your name. I'll never forget it. <laughs> That's why I did it that way. <laughs> How do I promote myself on this? Will I say my name? Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for that understanding. Um, but yeah, we have that going on too. So, uh, however you want to help us out, it all it all goes towards uh, making this all work uh, bigger and better. Uh, last but not least, those of us on our Oi Belta Loda tier on Patreon, our buddy William gets an Oi Belta Loda here. Uh, William, this Oi Belta Loda is for you. Three. This is going to be a real bad one. It's not deserving of your money, but it's okay. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't. For me, okay. I'm. Okay. I'm I'm a broken, I'm a broken mess right now. <laughs> All right, well, here Are we go. Are you on a Halux Fax Pier, though? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. You guys, have, you guys have missed each other. I can't tell. Uh, <laughs> 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 All right, so on three, two, one. Oi, Belta Loda! Oh, yeah. oh, oh, yeah. I, I think it's more about the fist bump with the Belta Loda than anything <laughs> yeah, else, really. Yeah, Belta Loda! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. Very nice. All right, well, thank you very much. I give him a little extra. Uh, there you go. See, there you go. You made up for my <laughs> lack of ever, anything. All right, so we're going to go ahead. I made bourbon face. <laughs> and <kick. laughs> All right, we're going to go ahead and kick over our opening, and we'll be back uh, with Abrax Prespice here in about a little over a minute. Oh, man. back all right been about a month since you've all uh since myrtle and zenny have seen uh waxer and wyatt uh last you saw them they you left them outside an airlock 
uh, floating in the dark, hoping they would get to Tycho Station to relay a message to one Fred Johnson. Interestingly enough, the first place you've seen them in this month is inside the office of Fred Johnson that you've just walked into. Uh, sitting there, you see Wyatt with a um, both arms, or two arms at least, um, <laughs> in a chair. Uh, he's got this kind of uh, carbon black arm uh looks you know kind of tech arm it's not like uh it doesn't look like they regrew it but it looks like it's kind of a tech tech out arm and then you see the ever large wax or sitting there at a chair um there are the the first thing that everyone that the two of you know zenny and myrtle is that there are no drinks being served at this meeting not even oh, coffee so serious no not even coffee <laughs> and the liquor cabinet is double locked <laughs> <laughs> he, he knows how you are, but you see, you see him. You see him for the first time in a month. Question: mm -hmm. We're just we're just in this office, right? Yeah, you've been escorted here. We'll say under uh, secure means, uh, if not possibly what might be considered smuggled into this office. What is the personal weapon situation that was allowed in this private meeting? Uh, you have not been allowed to bring your gun into the room. Uh, it was checked, uh, at, uh, and says it'll be at your residence when you get back to it. Basically, wherever you're, they're going to have you stay. Sure. Well, <laughs> sure, it'll get there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think Zenny had been getting progressively more and more nervous and a bit, like agitated the longer they had gone without hearing from Wyatt and Waxer. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that built in with, oh, I might not ever see the, the those guns again. And then just seeing the two of you just like here, um, kind of like stumbling across Mary and Pippin from the Lord of the Rings, just chilling here and you have an arm now. Um, Zenny's just kind of scowling. <laughs> um, Waxer, why, uh, why you guys have been sitting here for maybe like twenty minutes, just chilling out. Everything, all the all the text locked down the room. It's it's, and you know you're being watched. Um, but the door does open, and you do see the captain and Zenny uh, come on through. I'll definitely stand up and salute the captain. Yeah, I kind of go. Yeah. Do you use your new arm? My new arm. Yeah. Okay. I said, uh, Cap. Zenny, yeah, I'm like, you made it. <laughs> we made it good. I'm glad you made it. Yeah, I think uh, okay. it's been a long month. Yeah, I think they're gonna help us. Yeah, but they've been keeping us here uh, fed, but prisoners. Yeah. <clears throat> did when did they bring you into this room? We've been here about twenty minutes or so, I would say. Yeah, we're waiting for him. You know. You know, Fred. Him. Yeah, we've yeah. had to keep a pretty low profile since we've gotten here. We haven't been. Yeah. yeah, go nowhere. Just work out, eat. Yeah. yeah. You, you and and Myrtle, you you can easily smell the Thai food on their breath when they start talking. They've been eating a lot of Thai food while here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm getting hungry. Yeah. So. <laughs> is that is that is that real life or is that is that <laughs> both? Yes. Both. Okay. Fair enough. All the above. All the above. But they uh they took the sh ship. You guys get here, okay? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. It's uh, it's it was a quiet journey up through here. I mean, I can understand why. You know, I know why I can't show my face, but it's we haven't really been told anything other than we have a meeting. So here we are. But we're happy to see you. I'm happy to yeah. see that you're both healthy. We're glad and, to see you too. Yeah. And uh, I can tell you, we're in a whole some... shitload of trouble, though. This is a. Uh, oh, is that why we have a hoji from 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 you for over? Uh, yeah. A no. No type beams out. out. Yeah. No type beam out. Yeah. No communication. We're prisoners without the the restraints. Oh, okay. That's okay. That that's like. better than me thinking you are on a some sort of like, I don't know, pleasure cruise or something. No. We tried. Like... We really tried. They just wouldn't have any. I know I try to get Shlomo, he probably forgets to, to send some type of signal, yeah, but uh, no, we just... Yeah, as far as you know, Shlomo... Oh, your, your, bro, your, your best friend, your, 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 you know, the one that you definitely, definitely well, trust 100%. 100%. Yeah, 
Yeah, he's a good guy. He's expensive now, though. <laughs> <laughs> you kind of showed your hand to him. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> Friendship. The one thing you can count on purchasing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Especially on space. Yeah, so. Yeah. But um, yeah, you guys, uh, there's like four chairs there in front of Fred's desk. He's got representatives of all these different like uh, organizations and, and uh, companies that work through Tycho Station there behind it. Uh, big screen, nice desk. Uh, what looks to be, and you, you've been in this, you guys have been in this office once before when you, when you first went out with Dingo, or the last time you guys went out with Dingo. You know, and he has like the actual wood desk. It's not like press, it's actual real wood. It, it's it's pretty ostentatious here at points. But um. As you guys are sitting there, uh, the side door for the place, the, the office kind of opens up and uh, in walks the man himself, Fred Johnson. You see this large earther, uh, broad shoulder, uh, probably six foot two, pretty, pretty good size uh, guy. Still got some muscle mass on him despite his age. He's definitely getting up there uh, well into his, uh, well into his, like, his early 50s and so I got too, but um, this guy's seen a lot of action. And um, I'll say that I stood up too. If I was sitting back, if I sat back down, I stood back up as okay. soon as he walked in. Okay, Waxer, what about you? Are you still sitting, or I mean, we, they might assume you're standing with how tall you are. But. Yeah, I was gonna say I was gonna sit because I'm just as okay. tall. Right. You know, yeah. So uh, as you guys are standing there, Fred kind of like looks you all over and he says, uh, "All right, Ugh. all right, have a seat and let's get this shit show over." All right. All right. Yeah. And no, no it's empathy test. Too. No empathy test is necessary. He is frustrated. <laughs> I will say that he's coming off. He's coming in hot. Oh. All right, and he takes a seat in his, his chair and kind of sits back. And he goes, uh, "Does everyone sit down, or how do you guys want to handle this?" Zenny is sit down. Zenny is sitting on like the um, the arm slash or the the like back of a uh, waxer's okay. chair. He's kind of like okay, you're kind of, you're you kind know, of bending half, up. half half like sitting on it. You oh. know, leaning slash sitting on it. Okay. Yeah, he he uh he go, he goes he kind of looks at you as he's doing that. He goes, "All right." So you want to tell him what the hell happened out there in Callisto? Or let me? Why don't I? Or should I paint a picture first? Sure. You want me to paint a picture first? All right. Yeah, go ahead. All right, all right, Mr. Thompson. We got a bunch of. Belter tribes all over the solar system here, each vying for their own little piece of the pie. Myself, Anderson Dawes, a few other movers and shakers managed to actually get those people to stop pointing guns at each other and Earthers and Martians and start working together to build a navy. We do this. We go through the ring. Complete another shit show happens out there. I want to be very clear with every single one of you right here. I do not I do not hold against any of you for anything that happened beyond that ring. I want to be clear on that. That went to hell. We all know it went to hell. It did not bode well for the OPA Navy. Uh, we got people whose names I don't need to mention that very much screwed it up for all of us. Tensions, we come out, tensions are hot, hot, new worlds, all that good stuff. Medina Station's getting set up. We have a bargaining chip. OPA Navy has a bargaining chip. Medina Station. People need to come to us to get through. And the Earthers, Martians providing the security no problem. Now, for some reason, one of our ships that have been moving gear back and forth to Medina Station for the last uh, year or so, half a year or so, is in orbit around Callisto during a massive lockdown, gets called on to get inspected, burns a ship with one of their officers shooting an MCR agent in the face, and we come to find out that they've been off elsewhere doing other things. And now those people show up on my doorstep asking to talk to me. So that's the picture that I'm looking at right now. Did yeah. I, I, I now, by all means, I might have missed a few details here. So maybe you could fill me in on what is going on exactly. And, um, what kind of, uh, hmm, we'll say, a progress you've made on the last thing I asked of, of, of you, Myrtle? Well, see, here's the thing. Uh, because of the first thing is why we had the second thing, and then that led to us being here. Okay. So, so really, 
we're just following orders ish what we're supposed to do sort of mostly well that, now see now that to me is interesting and i was worried you came here with nothing so let me ask you real quick have you made contact with uh sebastian poet oh you could say that okay now i said i sent uh one of my best out there to do the mission and things went sideways really quickly and don't get me wrong you guys i want to be very clear with every single one of you in this room you did the right thing inside that ring from all the reports all the information i've gathered everything dingo did his best job and you guys did your best job given the circumstances so i want to be compl- i want to completely personally congratulate you all on it on, on that excellent work you did that a while back dingo went above and beyond what he needed to do i agree i agree and I know that the man, the, he was a secret man. He was a man that kept things close to the chest. And uh, <laughs> that was a bold move there, uh, Mr. Duchang, Mr. Thompson, uh, spending his money on this station. He knew that would get my attention. So I knew yeah, something, was, well, something good was happening here. Well, let's go back to the mission at hand here. What exactly is going on with Sebastian Pope? Want to, Myrtle? May I? Uh, please. He wants his own planet, and I think he's gonna do whatever he can. <laughs> he kind of laughs. He's like half the fucking system wants their own planet. <laughs> That's very true. But uh, we have something that I think that can help him achieve that goal, or you, Mister Johnson. And to be completely honest. I really don't want to help Mr. Pope. <laughs> so Mr. P- so Pope wants to go through the ring and find a planet. Okay. I mean, not surprising. My question is, um, what do you have you doing to get you on Callisto? What's that? What did we take? I can't remember what it's called. It now. was the uh, uh, decryption, Titan yeah. decryption module. Yeah. 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 Uh, he sent us there for uh what's the best way to put this very sought after technology that could help him crack some codes I guess so, that's so John says the type beam decryption modules right and he, he names it exactly he knows exactly he's like he's like i'm not i'm not dumb son i know they, i know what, he, what you guys stole i just want to make sure you're the ones that stole it so he's trying to figure out he's trying to intercept Martian data trying to figure out what's going on beyond these gates what the, what the Martians are up to what they're scouting okay that makes sense that makes sense well we got this shit show on he, he pulls up on a screen and you can it's the whole news about um, these belters these belter <sighs> ships running the blockade a few weeks ago uh, or a few, a few uh, about a month ago or so uh, going through and getting past and actually going through a gate and now uh, Royal Charter Energy is like on their way there to try to like take their claim and there's a big shit show. And he's like, he goes up, he scans over and he's like, and it gets even better, folks. It gets even better. Now I'm, I'm about trying to fix the situation, not fuck it up. But here, and he scans over, it's a picture of Ava Sorella next to a picture of James Holden. This lady is sending this, uh, this celebrity out there to go try to like make it work. So this whole going beyond the ring thing, trying to find these planets, ah, jeez, he's like too many, too many wild guns out there. And Pope wants to be another one. I agree with you there. All right, let me ask you this question: What do you um, what do you make of Pope's chances of success on something like this? What's he even have right now? I mean, that's, I will say this. There's some things I don't know. One of them, I don't know what he has. I don't think we really know what he has per se. Just a lot of money and a lot of connections. He's got a mass of very smart people on his ship. Yeah. A yeah, lot, even, a lot of them. A few of his uh, scientists have been filtering back in through Tycho, we noticed a while back. So he seemed to let a few go, we're guessing. Uh, yeah, they weren't too happy about being stuck on a ship for a long time. Yeah. My apologies. My apologies to you, uh, Zenny and Myrtle, 
for being stuck on the ship on, on the Sinclair for a while. It would have been nice to know about these two being okay. Well, we couldn't open up communications without revealing your position to every other OPA Navy individual here who would be more than happy to hand you over to Anderson Dawes for a handsome fee, I'm sure. Uh, <clears throat> sorry to interrupt, uh, Mr. Johnson, yeah? Uh, Pope also has something else. Uh, it took a little bit of whack my blood, yeah? You took your blood? Why do you yeah. take your blood? I mean, look at me. I've uh, been uh, altered and worked on and some other stuff, but uh, I think uh, he... He wants to use that to maybe um, make some new technology. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And what what is this? And, and what is this exactly? This is one of those uh, little Martian uh, bio experiments they're trying to back a few years back, where they're trying to like, amp up the muscle mass and bone mass. Yeah, yeah. I figure. Yeah. Well, else I'm, I'm surprised you're walking around. That's impressive. Look. Well, you um, should, yeah. yeah, I can see Pope leveraging that to be something extreme, and that's a uh, well, shit. You, you can see you've taken him aback a little bit. You gave him something kind of surprised him a little bit, the waxer. And he's like, okay. Pope has a slight edge then. That's interesting. Shit. Well, what's, oh, so I want to back up here just a minute because um, I'm a little confused here. Why is the Secretary General so invested with James Holden and this, this one thing that's going on when there's so many other people who are just trying to... Well, they're trying to figure out if this one will work. This is the prototype. Not to mention, uh, rumor has it, they found some of the uh, alien structures plant side. And Holden having, oh. the, Holden having his little um, religious experience in the gate has the most insight of anyone out there. So I can't argue with that. You're going to start a war. <laughs> You're going to start a war? You, gotta, you, hear, you hear him laugh and he goes... <laughs> refer, you refer to your your uh, your betting sheet from like yeah. a thousand yeah. years yeah. ago. <laughs> yeah. I tell you, you're going to start a war. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, this one will be on... will be a bunch of innocent belters and some uh, Earth Corporation folks if you're not careful. When but... is war not innocent belters and Earth Corporation folks? Yeah. yeah. Well, it's going to be on another planet. Different rocks. To kind of go on that, why? What does Mars think about her being involved with this? The refugee uh, ship and the, the other, sh- whoever's corporation is going out there to do. Mars whatever. has their own. They have their own corporations. They have their own people going out. They're but they're prepping, and everyone's watching this thing to see if it works or not. I mean, you know, they're worried about that. They're going to set foot on this planet. It's going to eat them up immediately as soon as they get down there. Who knows what's going to happen? So Mars is just standing and waiting for the shit show. Mars is uh, waiting patiently and planning, and so are a lot of Earthers, and that's kind of the problem right now too. Is a lot of people are waiting, not understanding that they have to wait. Uh, it, it's a whole hori- whole new frontier out there, and uh, I'm not sure how it's going to shake out one way or the other. I, I, I could go either way, honestly. I, I I can't predict any of this at this point. Huh. But what I do know is that Bastion Pope. Is someone I don't want. I don't want to fuck this up. I feel like he's another. He's we got another potential Jules Pierre Mao who's going to go out and do something silly, mess it up, and make it a lot harder for all of us to try to get out, get to a new planet, get some resources, and really start up this exploration. Was that a fair assessment a of the man? Card. He's definitely a wild card. It was a wild card. Be dangerous. Now, what has he offered you? I mean, you you had to get his trust. What did he offer you to get you to go steal this stuff for? Well, um, I know what, um, kind of what the Ganymede refugees are looking for, you know, a new home. So yeah, you ain't going back to series. I'm going to tell you that much. Well, that's interesting. Now, here's my thing. If I could, I don't think taking Pope off the table is the option here. I don't think it's a play. I really don't. I think he's got a lot of smart people and he's got a lot of potential to help us out about uh, humanity get next to the next stage. Well, I mean, you know, just the whole thing. So when we were there, it's just that we told him, you know, after all the other stuff that happened and the scientists are being so weird and shit, is that, you know, he has to let them know what's happening and give them the option. That's why you saw so many leave. So at least he's listening somewhat is because he can't get anywhere because he needs us. He needs our cooperation, whatever contacts we have to make whatever he wants to happen. 
but we're not going to put up with that. Um, is that everybody has a choice? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I don't know if now, that kind of cha- changes anything. Uh, but th- these is... people, he tuned them into the whole plan that he had, and let them make a decision if they wanted to stay or go. This is interesting. All the contacts you have. Well, here's the problem: you all don't have shit no more. Yeah, that's all right. So. I'm going to push you on a path forward that's going to make one, do two things, or do a few things here, actually. I'm not sure I haven't counted. It's a lot of things it's going to do. <laughs> um, <laughs> one, I want to make sure you guys live. I want to make sure I know some dogs are coming for you, and I'm going to try to keep you as safe as possible. Now, the way I'm going to have to do that is keep you guys secret. can't put you back here on Tycho. I can't put you back Earth side. I can't put you back Mars side. I can't put you back on Ceres. No, this place is off limits. Okay? But... There's a whole new horizon out there of places you can lay low. So, and Hope wants to go out there and explore and do whatever the hell he wants to do. Now, here's my thing is I don't trust Pope, but I trust you. And I trust you because Dingo trusted you. I'll be very clear on that. You're with, I understand you were with him to the end. And I respect that. I was with a lot of my men to the end as well. And a lot of good people die. And you guys saw a damn a damn fine man die. So I want to be clear on that. Right, so I have a lot of respect for where you guys are coming from. The best of men. Best of men. But I don't trust Pope. And I trust you. What that means is... I'm going to have you guys keep an eye on Pope. I want you to do what he wants to do. I want you to go out beyond that ring and find a spot. And keep an eye on him and keep him in check. You have a nice little uh, quasi warship there. You take take on his ship, no problem. But I don't trust him. I really don't trust him. But put him on the on the on the frontier is not a bad move. Takes him out of uh, this game board, if you will. How does that sound what? off the bat? Oh, please. Well, no, no. You 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 started answering my question or started my question for me. Um, it does kind of sound like it's um. You, you you taking Pope out of the out of this game board, as you said, but um, it also sounds like you're kind of banishing us from anything off to some place where there our is, survival is not guaranteed yet either. Your survival is not guaranteed on any place in the solar system right now. At least you're familiar with the solar system. Hold on a minute. Let me pull up the footage real quick. And like this is footage wax or wide have seen several times. Then he may not have seen it. <laughs> and it's like it's Zenny a, saw it because Zenny was there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, it, it, and you see it's like it's like the inside. It's a helmet cam of a Martian officer. He's got his gun drawn saying stop. And there's like Wyatt like waving bye bye at like the airlock. And then he starts to shoot. And then Zenny shoots him and you see him like crack back. Like you see like the camera crack back and it, it goes blank. Your, your gun famous, sir. <laughs> and he goes, oh, um, so you want to be running for the Mickeys for the rest of your life? Because they ain't going to let this slide. Mm. They're going to hunt you for a long time. Yeah. And if, they ain't gonna, if they're not going to get to you, they're going to get to that brother of yours one way or the other. I'm not threatening you. I'm telling you how it's going to be here, Zeddy. So I'm not banishing you. I'm offering you a way out, a way forward. Better we get, yeah. We go, we're no longer OPA, are we? <laughs> he kind of laughs. He's like, I don't know. I don't, he's like, I don't think I don't think you are right now either. Yeah. OPA Navy ain't gonna do much. OPA's future is that Medina station, keeping that thing running. That's their future. Keeping the keeping the cargo moving to place to place. That's their future. But as far as having a navy, you might see a few little patrols here running security once in a while, but that's about it. What happens what does the ship revert back to us? Is it ours now? Do we continue on with our own lies? But keep in contact. He laughs. He's like, the thing Claire is, Aaron's a Dawes is right now, but here's the thing. His reach is only so far. You go beyond that ring, he ain't getting it. And, and, and he sends anyone after you to try to get it, you're going to see them coming for three months ahead of time. It's true. Yeah. Stock us with supplies. Give us some torpedoes. Yeah, we're out of here. Like, Jesus, we'll he's like, Jesus Christ, son. He, he looks at you. He's like, look, man. He's like... <laughs> You're gonna be dumb. I guess you gotta be tough, right? 
Yeah, we'll get <laughs> he, he, said, he said yeah. that to you. He says, I stock and torpedo, like give you some food on your ship, give you some stores. How long you last out there? A few months? Six months, something like that? It'll last long. So these colony ships are where, that's where they're making, everyone's making their money right now. These colony ships are waiting at the gate. That's where the, that's where the cheese is. But here's the problem though. Colony ships, one thing, but colonists are another thing. You need, you need people to back it up. You need people to work the, the land, people to build the stuff, put it together, people with know-how. Now. In money. He kind of laughs. He's like, money. It's all, it's all, you think your credits are going to spend out there on some foreign planet? Not by us. You think some little, there's some little blue men out there waiting to, to, to take up your uh, retirement plan, your pension? Jesus Christ, son. Okay. You need supplies. You need real stuff. Food, uh, you know, he's like, a, he's like a pound of food will go a lot farther than any, than any amount of cash you ever have on that frontier. I agree. But look, here's what I got going. I got a friend. I got a person. Um, you may not know this about the Tyco Corporation, but we donate a lot of money to, uh, as an Earth Corp, despite being an Earth Corporation. We donate a lot of money to uh, Earth politicians, but also Martian politicians. And so we got a few that uh, owe us a little bit of favors and we have some aligned interests with. You guys following? Mm -hmm. Now, I don't have anyone big enough that I could actually get you guys off the hook for this. I'm sorry. It's, uh, it's on all the broadcasts. It's just too big of a story for me to for them to ignore. But Mars, you may not know this. They got some. They got some people that are a little underserved out there. Little little area of uh, Londres Nova called In the Shallow, In the Shallows, underserved people out there. They don't like to have them go on the surface. They don't like the, the Martians. Don't like showing them off. You don't see them on the news. Uh, they are for all intents. Uh, if you if you were if you were to put one in a lineup, people would tell you it's a Belter, not a Martian. Born on Mars, but worked in the low gravity. Didn't get the drugs they need as a kid. Now my my friend represents them this is part of the you know remember that whole that big c in the martian congressional republic she does that and she represents this district now i'm thinking maybe you might be able to bring some of those people with you and maybe if pope has this uh synthesized tech based on your little uh illegal martian projects that you're a part of their waxer Maybe they can survive going down the gravity well a lot better. So maybe we can align this, get you your colony ship, get you some colonists, and get you out past that ring here within the next year. That is, if James Holden doesn't fuck it up for everyone. I'm pretty sure he's gonna fuck something up. I bet he does. <laughs> So take that, take that bet. You know, I think I, I take the I take the James Holden's gonna fuck it up bet any day of the week. Uh, how do we know uh, they're all gonna, um, you know, listen and follow what we're doing? Yeah, they're all willing to go. Well, they're very interested. He's on fact. Uh, my my friend, <clears throat> the representative, is currently on Medina Station. She wants to make sure that every single piece of data that's coming through those gates, that's showing the probes, that's showing us what's going on. He wants to make sure that she has dibs and she can serve her people. As far as they're concerned, as far as she's concerned, she's ready to bail on, on Mars with her people. They haven't done shit. Mars hasn't done shit for these people. They don't want to do shit for it. So they're willing to go someplace else. Now, this is interesting. Martians are in a very good negotiating position here. Your your little buddy, uh, Marv de Valentine, remember him? He's going to be a rich motherfucker in a few, in a few years. <coughs> Let me tell you, he's going to be filthy rich. His expertise... Him working freelance, him having a Martian education, he's gonna go someplace and be rich. If you can, if you can, if you can build a fusion reactor on a new planet, congratulations, immediate, immediate wealth. So, what I'm thinking is setting you up, my friend, having you escort Pope through his his little uh, fancy ship and a, a colony ship through. Hit up a gate, go do this, execute this whole plan, work out pretty well. Now, this isn't going to happen overnight. I want to be clear. We're talking like once holding it, holding in uh, whatever goes on on New Terra or Ellis, whatever the hell they decide to call it, takes out. We'll figure it out from there. But I can guarantee you we can be ready for this gold rush. Now, 
You're going to have to do a little bit of leg work here, though. We've been doing that for a long time, so we're up for it. <laughs> Let me tell you something, son. It never ends. That's why I'm in meetings like this. <laughs> kind of laughs. <laughs> how are you guys doing? How are you feeling? You feeling he's, like, he's asking you, how are you feeling about this so far? I want, I want to take a moment and hear every single one of you out before I give you what this plan is on how to go forward at all. I'll be honest, I think... I don't think it's a bad plan. Kind of feels like we're working for ourselves, though, again, which is nice. But I just don't know. I don't know what what the future holds. And I want to be clear, Myrtle. I know you got. A, I know you got a wife back on Sirius Station, and I know that Dawes is starting to put the screws to her. These are freezer accounts, up for rent, all that crap. I can get her. I can get her to you. I can, get her, I can get her out. I can get all your stuff out. I can get you guys moving forward with all that. Okay? Careful. But that's the thing, though. Is you got you guys all have a gift here. Myrtle, you're a, you're a logistics genius on this. You've been doing this, moving stuff around Titan, all around the system, helping people get what they need to get to. Waxer, you knew how to work a mech. Now, you may think that that's something that's, that's kind of common, whatever it is, but being able to load stuff on and off of ships and move stuff around and keep track of it in inventory, very valuable when you're in a dire situation on a, on a new planet and you have a limited amount of resources. Why security is always at, always at a premium. People can get a little anxious. I, and he kind of sits there for a second, like, I, I can't imagine someone sending James Holden out there for that. Okay, but... <laughs> <laughs> it, it's, 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 the, it's the Holden hour of hate. <laughs> so, yeah. um, is any of you? Now I gotta tell you, you're a hell of a shot. I'll give you that. The whole the whole solar system knows that. <laughs> but uh, your eye for suspicion, your eye for uh, keeping a head on a swivel, that's gonna go far on a situation like that, especially on a frontier. There's stuff out of these planets we can't even fathom. I've seen some of these images coming off of Illus, and he kind of pulls up a few, and you can see like giant towers of like these like, kind of curving towers that are kind of sitting there. And they look bizarre, but you don't, you can't even tell what they do. Maybe they're antenna, maybe they're, they're like skyscrapers. They could be generators. You have no idea what any of this stuff is. But that uh, that suspicion will go far. And you might be able to keep people calm out there, too. One of you keep them secure, one of you keep them calm. That can go a long ways. Mm -hmm. I think you have a good team. I think there's a good team here going forth. So then he kind of looks to Wyatt and says, I don't know, I think you're better at keeping people calm. Sometimes, maybe. So, and, and obviously, uh, any recruit wants to stick behind, I'm happy to help them out, but I can't guarantee their safety. I'll say that. Um, some of them may be wanted and maybe viewed as traitors out here. So, but if they want to go with you, they're welcome to go with you. And I'm welcome. To, I'm happy to pull them here on Tyco or send them wherever they want to go in the system. But beyond that, I can't keep them safe for that long. Uh, you ready to hear my proposal? I'm ready. Yeah, go okay. for it. Yeah. So my, my, my representative friend, and he's been really, he's been really ominous. All you know is it's a Martian representative, uh, possibly female. That's all you really know. He says, uh, out on Medina Station waiting and um, looking for the next thing. Now, this is a guaranteed thing. Her problem is she doesn't have the tech backing. She got the people, but she don't have the technology. She doesn't have a science team. She doesn't have a colony ship. She doesn't have investors. She doesn't have any of that stuff. Now you guys have that with Pope, and I can I can make it look. I, and with these little uh, this little funding you got at Dingoes, I can make sure that goes where you want it to go. I can make it help you out, or I can have it send it to whatever you want me to do with it. But I can clean that money up. That money's going to spend dirty, and you're going to start drawing a lot of attention, spending a dead man's money. We don't need that. Yeah. No. So, and Pope, I don't know how Pope's keeping his money clean, but he's doing it, but he ain't gonna be able to do it much longer, I can tell you that much. I'm starting to see the, uh, the traces here and there. So, the question is, how do we get a ship wanted by the MCRN, by the OPA Navy, not to mention a dead man's giant science vessel through that ring gate into a new, into a new frontier? Past Medina Station. Well, 
why don't you talk to the person who's in charge of building the damn thing? And he's obviously referencing himself here. Well, Fred. So, here's my here's my my plan. And he kind of he pulls up this little like uh, little like a uh, data stick type thing, throws it on the table between you guys. Uh, does anyone want to grab it? Yes. Hey, grab it. Okay. And it's like a little like data stick. It's kind of. It's... I'm standing up. I can reach it faster. <laughs> yeah. So I'll, I'll let <laughs> I will say this though. Why it does did take the initiative focus. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but I'm standing up. I will, I'll see you go forward, and I'll solve this. This is true. We do. We do know that Zenny has the uh, the fastest the fastest hands in the West. Uh, okay. All right. So uh, you grab it, Zenny, and it's a little it's a little like uh, like data chip type thing. You're not you know whatever could be on it, but it has a weird kind of interface. It looks like it's probably encrypted. Um, and he goes, "What you're gonna do? You're gonna go on the Sinclair. You're gonna plug that in." And you're gonna load up the parameters of the Sinclair, and you're gonna load up the parameters of the Cryo brand. I know the Sinclair has got some nice scans of that ship, as best you can, probably the best you can get. You guys got pretty damn close to it. Okay, what that ship looks like, what its signatures are, all that stuff. You're gonna take that, and this is where it gets a little hard. You're gonna take that to Medina Station. You're gonna need to get on the bridge of Medina Station and plug that into an executive port. What that's going to do, now here's the problem with Medina Station. I don't give a shit how good uh, post self tech is. I don't give a shit. Medina Station has the most advanced sensors on it, the most advanced sensors out there of any ship. It'll, it'll see Pope coming right when he, as soon as he goes to that ring gate, it'll see him immediately. So what I need you to do is plug that in, and what that's going to do is get is turn is make Medina Station turn a blind eye to those ship parameters. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Now here's the thing, and here's why I think this is this is a crucial moment for all of you. Between the four of you, Zanny, your brother, your brother Zan, you guys have been on Medina Station. Shit, you've been on there when when it's hot. Right now, it's just a bunch of people trying to set up farms and buildings and restaurants and all that kind of stuff. Whatever they can do, you guys have been hauling cargo for them. You know, it's, it's not they're not bringing like weapons and everything in there. You know that station. You know the nooks and crannies of that station better than other. You survived it. You know what the number one determiner of someone surviving a combat situation is? He's asking this to the general, the general populace. And if you guys, you guys, those that are in the military, are welcome to roll for this. Or do you want him to? I'll roll for it. Go give me a give me like a intelligence test or tactics. Give me tactics. Let's use tactics. Let's, have, let's roll some dice. It's the role-playing game, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Zenny just, like, guesses. 17. Is it if they eat ice cream beforehand? No, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, they run away. Okay, run away. Um, he goes, okay, so you, you sit there and think about it, and you realize what it is, why it's a simple it's a simple thing. The, the, most, the biggest determiner of someone surviving a combat situation is if they've survived a previous one. Been shot at once, you could be shot at twice. That's right. You develop those instincts. You know how to survive. Hell, well, yeah, because I've seen your medical scans there, Mr. Thompson. And you ain't you ain't the the prettiest spring chicken. Um, shot and, a lot. <laughs> he's like, I, he's like, yeah, the whole he's like, well, hell, all the whole the whole solar system saw you get shot, and it, you, that is part of the footage of you getting shot. Uh, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and um, so it's um. Yeah, he goes. Um, you know, you know that station well. Your brother knows that station well. I think you guys have the best chance of success on us. Now, by all means, getting executive uh, access isn't going to be easy. So, what I'm going to have you do is meet with this, uh, meet with this person. And he pulls it up on the on the, the screen. It opens up, and you see this. You see this uh, Martian. Um, it's a representative Martian, kind of dressed in like the congressional uniform, like 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 really dressed clothing. It's it's not like they're not a military person, but they're uh, a Congress person. Um, and uh, by the name of uh, Tai E Gao, Tai E Gao, so T Y E E G A O. Now Tai E here represents in a shallow, and you guys can pull this information really easy. This is all public information. You, you've probably seen seen her on the news or something like that. Wyatt, maybe when you're you know a while back, but still pretty young, pretty young, all things considered, for a representative, like probably like in their forties. Um, and um, 
they're looking for the next big thing. They're out there on the bridge of it. Now, Taiyi's looking for a way out with, with their people, and uh, you are looking at a way out, so I think the two of you can get together and work. Bring some Martians with you, some Belters, maybe get a few Earthers on board there too. But I think this, I think that your coalition of forces have worked really well. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be able, you have your little, your little uh, gas hauler disguise here. It's going to get you to Medina Station. You're going to get in there, do your little mission, get out. Now, whether or not you want to tell Pope about this ahead of time, that's up to you. But I suggest if, you maintain that trust with the man. What about your connection with this? Keep that away from him? <laughs> he kind of laughs. He's like, I don't think me and Mr. Pope would have a very conducive conversation at this point. No, but no, I'm more I interested, agree. and I think you tell him about me, it would just upset the man. No, I agree. I didn't want to. I don't want to say the wrong things and get this all screwed up. Well, I appreciate that, son. So that's what separates that's what separates a lot of you from James Holden. Uh, ouch, sorry, that was that was kind of cruel. <laughs> okay. Yeah, man. I yeah, it's just it's the yeah. No, this, yeah, Fred is Fred has the problems with Holden. He likes him, but he doesn't like him. All right. Yeah. You know, Fred, it's 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 interesting what you say here. When you think about a coalition, because you know, we're Earth, Mars, and the belt, and we're a family. Why not a coalition of people that want to work together and, you know, build something together? Exactly. Exactly. I think that's going to be the key. I think that was, you know, that was the whole, that was my vision of the OPA Navy. It was It was a way to bring the OPA up to the table with the, uh, with the innards. And uh, then hopefully we all, all those navies can work together to keep the peace. Unfortunately, the the ring happened, and that ruined that ruined a lot of stuff. It set us back quite a bit. OPA Navy exists, but it ain't gonna exist much longer. Let me be clear on that. Dawes may tell you a different story, but he's uh, let let him run series. Let let him keep uh, his little hub going. We'll see how he, how he's doing in a few years here. I want to tell you all that I appreciate you guys going about this the right way. I'm going to talk to you was the correct decision. I'm not just saying that. Well, every other decision is going to leave you uh, spaced. <laughs> it's a pretty easy one. Starting to feel like the right decision, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, hopefully you walk away here not feeling too slimy. I've, uh, I've, I've had my fair dealings with people walking away feeling a little slimy. I can't imagine walking away from a conversation with Pope not feeling a little dirty, right? Well, you know, I mean, talk, man. you know, it's like you want us to do things, right? Everybody wants us to do things yeah. for whatever reason they want to do it. But nobody's ever really considering what we want to do and what's best for us. You know, it's always best for some government, some politician, some corporation, you know, and it's it's just, you know, I mean, you you give us the respect that other people don't give us. So, if anything, that does mean something. Look, Myrtle, if you wanted a drink, you just ask. And he, <laughs> you know, he kind of goes and he grabs like a, he goes and opens up the cabinet and he pulls. He goes up and pours a, a quick shot for everyone, some whiskey. And says, uh, "Well, what the future may hold here? Maybe in a, another year or so, you guys will be beyond this ring here, beyond this ring, and set foot on a whole new planet, huh?" Yeah. Question is, what happens to all the planets here when all those open up? There'll be a rush. We'll go, everyone's going to look for the thing. I think a lot of it's going to be determined by what Illus is. According to the preliminary scans, Illus is a uh, hotbed of uh, lithium veins. I mean, there's more there's more lithium on Illus than there is in, well, shit, our solar system. That's going to power a lot of batteries. You can fire a lot of railguns with that much lithium, I'll say that. It'd be like the British bailing everybody out to Australia again. Was like so what happened back in the olden days? <laughs> <laughs> okay, there was people who were already native to this continent, and the British were these people in the north. Okay, I won't get into the whole history lesson, <laughs> but essentially they took all their criminals and undesirable and stuck them out in the middle of nowhere. And oh, so like the belt? Yeah. Yeah, kind of like that. But they didn't need you to do any skills for it. They just wanted to get rid of you and make you die. So like the belt? Yeah. No, they want to earn the belt is worked to death and then they die you know yes. 
Yeah, that's still going to happen. Watch. Oh, that's we better. On, yeah, yeah. We land yeah. on a planet with more lithium than everybody else, and everybody can come rushing to get that. Yeah. Kick us out. Yeah, we, we forget wax. There's another. There's another twelve hundred ninety-nine of them out there. Yep. So, but they always want us. They always seem to want the one that we on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What can I say? You has got good taste. Yeah. Um. Well, look, I'm a. I'm a man trying to. I'm always trying to do the right thing. Now I'm trying to make make sure that things go forward. Anything I can a answer for you about this all? I mean, we're not prisoners no more. Yeah. No, actually, I'm gonna put you back on the Sinclair at this point. Uh, we'll stock you up, top off your tanks, get you out of here. But uh, all on behalf of the Tycoon Corporation. But uh, as far as um, you don't come back here. When you go through that gate, uh, you're going to say your goodbyes. Now, uh, Myrtle, I'm going to make sure to get your wife off, off station. I'll get her out to Medina station as soon as I can. Uh, try to make as many, uh, whatever I have, whatever you have personal back at home, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, I'll make sure it uh, it goes with you, okay? All right. All right. Now these, and if, uh, if she don't want to go, if she don't want to go, but she still needs a place, I would be, a, I'd be mighty... Uh, Mighty happy if maybe you could give her some work here. If it comes down to that and she needs to leave, but doesn't want to follow me out there. It's not going to be easy out there, but uh, I'll, t I'll tell you this, Myrtle. I, um, morale goes a long ways for success of a mission. So I'll uh, do everything I can to make sure keep your morale as high as I can. I appreciate that, man. Uh, thank you. And he's like being sincere. Like you're, you're not getting the butcher. You're getting Director Johnson at this point. Um, One question for you, Mr. Yeah. Johnson. When we leave on that ship, somebody scans us. What's going to show up? Going to show up some some piece of shit gas hauler from uh, my my little fun little company, uh, Baratnas Gas. You're just bringing a gas haul. You're bringing a shipment out to Medina Station. Hell, those those tanks attached to the thing, they're going to have real gas in them, and you're going to deliver real gas to Medina Station. It'll take a few days to get it off, so you got you got a little bit of cover time there. Okay. But, That's uh... I open for, but I yeah. I missed that earlier. I apologize. I do... I will say this. Your uh, PDC network ain't going to work while those things are on. Don't try to launch a torpedo. Would it be bad? It's going to be a real short trip here, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it kind of looks off. It's, yeah. The, so she's like... Um, yeah, but and, and he does explain that there's a button basically provided. You can, you can detonate the, um, the bolts that it's attached to to get it off immediately, but like, it's, it doesn't go back on once it comes off type thing. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, hope everyone's satisfied. What I'm going to do, I'll top you off. I'll give you guys a day or two here on Tyco Station. Whatever you need to send out, whatever you need, business you need to take care of, let my people know and they'll, uh, they'll get to it. Um, but uh, your ship should be in good shape and, and the all. And if some of the crew don't want to go, they don't want to go this board, then uh, they're welcome here on Tycho, and I'll send them any, anywhere they want to go. But once again, um, I don't know. I don't know if Dawes is going to be out for your crew trying to get to you through them. But you may not want to tell them as you may not want to tell them much. Tell them mm -hmm. as much as you want. That that's you. The the Sinclair, as far as concerned, what goes on inside of it is your guys' business, not mine. We should probably have a family meeting before we hook up with everybody. Yeah. Just the four of you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Says, I'll tell you what, I'm going to leave the bottle. He puts a bottle of, of uh, whiskey on the table with the glass and says, I'll, I'll leave you to it. I want to point up to whatever cameras I see mm. and say, uh, you're going to leave us to it then? Yeah. Because I'll enjoy the, I'll let you guys talk about it. And uh, yeah, you guys want some privacy? Okay. He's a privacy and he goes and he pulls his data terminal and pulls it off and he goes flashes those like you know listening devices off in Johnson's office and uh he actually actually he, he shows you that that the listening devices were never on in the office right now while you're talking to him hmm. so he's not he wasn't he wasn't recording this at all so I right. appreciate you getting to see this side of you and not the other side <laughs> I, I don't do that shit no more that's all behind me. I'm trying to make something work here. He is all. He kind of takes a second. He said. He said. He, as he stands up before he leaves, he says, "You know, you guys, you guys remember the last thing I said to, to Dingo? 
I don't off the top of my head, no. I said, make it work. Make it work. I told That's what I told him and Bull, make it work. And uh, even in the worst situation, circumstances, they made it work. And I'm gonna ask you guys to do the same. Make this work. Make it work. Make it work. We'll make right. it work. We haven't failed yet. We've made some mistakes along the way, but we haven't failed completely yet. <laughs> Well, I mean, the bar for failure has been set pretty high. Uh, well, uh, we'll make sure you uh, you guys get, get, I help you all as, most, as best I can. All right. He gets up and leaves. Um, and you guys have contact information for Fred if you need to talk to him or anything like that, too. Um, and uh, But you actually have your guy, Waxer and White, your contact is more directly goes through Drummer. Drummer's kind of handling your case. Uh, she's like your caseworker, if I will. Uh, and so. <laughs> Um, she's more your bit your handler and her people. All right, so you guys, uh, he leaves the room, bottle of whiskey's there. You guys have some time to talk. Um, do you guys go ahead and, if you guys want to chat about it, discuss it? Yeah. Sunny pours a drink, more than a shot. Yeah, we're, f- we're finishing that bottle for sure. <laughs> I mean, we're gonna leave and we ain't coming back. All right, let's lay it out, everybody. I really don't think it's a bad thing. I say, yeah, I agree with it. I mean, this isn't the way we want it out, but we're out. There's no going back now. Yeah, especially if we can get your wife to come with us. If she wants to. Yeah. I mean, this is somebody run everything while we're there. It's true. I mean, she's got a lot more business acumen than we ever will. That's why I was the one out doing the thing, and she's the actual one running the business. I mean, we have a chance to really do something new, yeah? Start our own thing. I mean, this is like Wax's dream, always, uh, you know, new, start over, yeah? Now, the question, though, Waxer, is once we're out there, we may never find out the full story for what happened with you. And now it's a new story, yeah? I leave it all behind, and uh, I move forward new new chance for everything hey at least we all go together one big fat ham- family yeah yeah we if start. we die out in space we die together right yeah yep. with a bunch of other people <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna take all these broke ass martians with me <laughs> all these strangers <laughs> yeah i but, think it'd be a good idea to tell i think it's a good idea to tell the crew i don't think we should keep this from them yeah. So there's this thing back on Earth called the Island of Misfit Toys. <laughs> uh, I'll explain it in greater detail sometime. We have a lot of islands here on this. Yeah. We actually did Australia have... or Misfit. By the, yeah, by, yeah. by the way, Innis Shallow does translate to the Shallow Island. So yeah. <laughs> there's a lot, there's of, a lot of islands. <laughs> so, but anyway, this I just think of it as that, you know, it's like, we're gonna make us fit somewhere that fits us all and you know fits our dreams yeah nobody telling us what to do you know we we just we run it the way we want to always run it yeah the way you run the ship and the crew yep yep i like Maybe it this far. might as well see what the next journey is yeah we built all i mean all this other stuff we built we just built it again you know create it new i like it Yeah. I mean, this is like whoever gets this kind of opportunity without all the politics. I mean, Old Russian not that the there's, ring. I mean, not that there's not a bunch of bullshit around some of this stuff. Oh, you know, but, you know, there's still stuff that we have to answer to and there's still stuff that we have to do. But, you know, how often does somebody just like give you all the resources and money that you would need to be able to do something like this. Well, you gotta stop and think that it's not exactly just being given to us. Well, that's true. But at least when we're out there, we, you know, and we say something happened with Pope or whoever, I mean, we just do what we always did in the belt air. We have uh, space justice. We handle it ourselves. We handle Pope. We can handle anybody, yeah. Not wrong. Something wrong with a little space justice, um, <laughs> yeah. you know, of our own sort 
<laughs> Did we tell the crew? Yeah, I hope McMichaels comes. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't be the same without McMichaels. Uh, no. Uh, Zenny raises up their glass, uh, and they say to Space Justice, I guess. Space Justice. Yeah, space Justice. Space Justice. Space Justice. All right, so you guys, you guys take a quick swill and enjoy the moment here in Fred's office. Um, get ready to go to back to the Sinclair, talk to the crew, and kind of make arrangements as you want to to go to Medina. All right, um, you're escorted back to the Sinclair, uh, and you guys can see the layout of it now from the outside. It's been painted like this, like ugly ass fucking brown with these orange logo of Baratness gas on it. It's huge uh, everywhere. Uh, you can see that they're filling it up. Getting uh, they've like capped off all like your fuel pellets, your water, your foods back in. Um, pretty high quality stuff here. Your med supplies are restocked, but you don't have all the good med supplies like you got, like the prototype stuff you guys have from Pope. But they do help you out on that. Um, and you guys come back into the, uh, the airlock and Mick Michaels is there and he goes, Hey, oh, he's like, hey, it's good to see you. And he goes like to, to hug Waxor and everything. Yay. Yeah. And they go, ah, oh, he's like, he's like, do it. He's like, man, how was it out there? Oh, it was good. Look, I gained some weight. We ate, we fed eight. Yeah, it was, you know. I can smell the peanuts on your breath, man. I saw Shlomo, hey. Oh, Shlomo's still around. Right. Oh, I was wondering who you had picked yeah. you up. You guys kept us so close to the vest, but how's he doing? He's good, man. He's got a beta. He's flying a beat around, but you, you know, he's going to have a, a lot of improvements to that thing. We paid him crazy credits. Yeah, man. No, I'm glad you keep him happy. That's not easy work. Yeah. But he's living the dream. He's doing his own thing. I respect that. Mm -hmm. Well, look, man. He's like, hey, uh, he's like, yeah. He's all like, XO, glad to have you back, man. He's all like, nice looking arm, man. He's all, like, uh, I, I was hoping you get the same color as mine. We can match. We can go out all, you know. It takes some getting used to, but it is, um, it's, it's kind of nice. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, and you're still you're still getting used to it. You have a little bit like you have a little bit of issues like some fine motor elements of it, but largely like if you're picking stuff up, uh, and you've been practicing a lot of your practice that has been coming from feeding yourself Thai food. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's been your physical therapy is He's eating Thai food. Is eating, yeah, eating Thai food. Yeah, and chopsticks. Yeah, so just, you're, you've been going pretty good with it. Um, but yeah, they all kind of yeah, he goes back. He goes, hey Cap, so how'd it go? Like what? Uh, we got this now. This gas freighter. What are we doing with it? Well, <laughs> we're going to Medina Station. Oh, we going back there, man? Yeah. Yeah. So nothing changed, yeah. huh? We just go back to Medina Station. We're going to keep on hauling gas now for them. That's what we're doing? Everything uh, changed. Well, not exactly. So. Well, man, hey, well, I know that look. I know that look. And he kind of goes, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a, a crew meeting look. We're going to have a crew meeting. All right, everyone. And he gets on the comm and he's like, he goes, yeah, he goes, yeah, Myrtle making the face. <laughs> yeah, we got yeah, get in the galley. We're gonna have a crew meeting. <laughs> okay. All right. You go, yeah, man. He's like, yeah, he's like, yeah, he's all he's like, I tell you why good to have you back, man. That being that XO wasn't easy when you were gone, man. That's hard being the XO. It was hard being it was hard being around. It was hard. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. And so but and he, he never officially was XO, but it was kinda like, you know, he you guys, it was like implied. Yeah, you, it's like it's like the kid at the birthday party. You kind of let him have. You let him think they're Spider Man. You know what? We're like, is, right? yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah. So he, he calls everyone up, and everyone kind of filters in around the ship. So you have the whole crew, everyone kind of like shows up uh, after a little bit of time here. Uh, you can prep any kind of presentation or information you want to Myrtle and Wyatt and Waxor and uh, all that good stuff here. So let me go ahead and pull up our uh, crew manifest. Uh, we got McMichaels, Drax is there, Mikhail is there, Yan is there, and Critty is there. So you got yeah, the whole. Sure yeah, we, had, now. we had already talked to them about uh, Pope's plans for us, right? Yeah. We had already, yeah, we had already gone through yeah. all that. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, um, they were on board for that, I think. But yeah. now it's yeah. now it's come to a point where it's more about like never coming back. Yeah. 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 It's the finality of it. Yeah. Okay, so like a, um, almost like there's gonna be a new phase. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Whatever do you mean? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, team, friends, oh. crew. Um. So you know we were talking about this really interesting proposal from Pope, right? You know, and then like we went out and had a little bit of issues. And we went out to Callisto, but everything is cool. You know, our uh, Waxer and Wyatt, they're just fine. They were just kind of relaxing, taking a meeting, uh, but we're all back together for uh, a big final meeting 
uh, with Fred Johnson. Oh, uh, so, so you hear you hear kind of some like murmurs um, as some people are like, oh shit, like you you hear Yan Yan's like, whoa, okay, you talk to the butcher. Yeah. All right, so so yeah, we we did we talked to Fred and we had a really good conversation. So you know we we didn't get the butcher. So just put you these right there. We had a really good uh, productive discussion with him about where we've been, what we've been doing and where we're going to go from here. And um, so he, he would like to continue to support us um, in our uh, discussions with Pope. We are looking at heading out to Medina and, you know, hey, we, we, are, we are dropping off some people here. Um, but then going on and finding a planet just for ourselves and to bringing and in Pope. and Pope. Um, but we, we like the groundwork planet. and we, we, we set it up. It's our place and we get it going and he's going to hook us up with some operations and some staffing. You know, some other people who are like us, you know, they don't really have a place to go. They're they're looking for their dreams. Um, um, but I have to tell you. Drax raises his hand. Go ahead, Drax. Uh, how, how many people and are they coming with us on, on this ship or are there going to be more ships? Because like we like he's like, I know how big Pope ship is and our ship is. We, we couldn't survive out there just with this. Is there a third ship or something? There's or getting a col colony ship. ship. Oh, Okay. Okay. He, you can see the wheels turning his head. He's like, "Shit, this actually looks legit now." Okay. And so, with coming and creating a colony, it means something very important for all of us. So, I we we need your buy-in to see if you're going to stick and become family with us, or if you want to part ways and find some other plans um, to go permanently. The problem with leaving this ship though is nobody can guarantee your safety after what's happened uh you see critty the the med tech raises her hand and she's like um i i just barely got on the ship do you think i would be okay listen you're... <laughs> we don't know for sure but we're not I mean... gonna hold you here we're not gonna force you to stay if you don't want to stay uh -huh. And Fred, did, Fred said he'd do his best to find work yeah. for all of you, so you'd be here with him. Because um, uh -huh. going back to a uh, series is just not going to happen for you. I mean, you could try, but I don't think that it would be very healthy for you to go there. Yeah, but yeah. At least, you know, maybe work on, on Tycho, maybe some work on Medina Station. But, you know, he'll have a spot for you if you decide not to go with us. Yeah, he and us or, have a whole new. Who knows uh, what's on that on the other side? Yeah. Uh, so yeah. So Drax was. Hey. So where are these people coming from? That were the this colony ship. Like where where who are these people are? They just like are they going to be more belters? Are they going to be like those people that rush the gate? And we're not rushing the gate, right? Like we're going through legit. We'll go through legit. We won't rush the gate. It's like yeah, I don't I don't feel like trying to rush past four dreadnoughts. Nothing personal, Captain, but that's a suicide mission. <laughs> I'll uh, explain to them um, the Marsha people that we were talking about. Okay. Their kind of their history and how they are belters in a way, and they're in our own civilization's way. Yeah, Yan goes. Yan kind of goes. Fucking Martians? We gonna bring a bunch of dusters with hey. us? Yeah, yeah. Look, they, 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 they wish Mars forgot about them. They've been working them like they work belters and low gravity and. They're a lot like us, yeah? And we're going to start all over. There's going to be no belters, dusters, earthers when we go over. I, like, raise my voice at them. That's the only time I talk, and I sort of okay. back back down. All right. Yeah, you, 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 you check him a little bit. Yeah. And he, he sees Danny, like, looking disapproving. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm, I'm very disappointed in that goes, line of thinking. So Yang, go, Yang goes, all right, so we're going to Medina. Why are we going to Medina Station? Just to drop off some gas? That's all we have to do to, like, do this? That seems kind of light duty. Maybe it's your last time to enjoy uh, this side of the uh, place, too. So we'll worry about why we're going. If you trust us, we trust you. But there's some things you probably don't want to know. There's things we have to do to make sure this goes off without a hitch where nobody gets hurt. 
Yeah. Yeah, and McMichael is he kind of stands next to you as you say this, uh, Wyatt, and he's like, he's like, yeah, they told me all about the plan, man. You guys, you guys be okay. Do you trust them? And you guys haven't told McMichael's plan. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna let him. I'm just gonna let him. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna say anything gets that. He goes. Um. Yeah. Mikhail kind of sits there for a second, and he's like, eh, shit. He's like, go through the go through the gate. He's like, they that gate already took a part of me. I might as well have it take see if it can take any more, right? So the Kale's game, uh, Drax is like, uh, he's like, as Denny's going, I'll go. Yeah, sure, sure. That's the uh, spirit. Yeah, is like, okay. He's like, let me ask you a question. This organization working with these uh, Martians, uh, are we going to be like, do, do I get kind of like a seniority position? Because look, I did my time in the OP Navy and I didn't get shit for it. Okay. Make sure you're taken well care of. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Critty's like Don't. putting, like running her, her, her like hands over her face and her hair and she's like, oh my God. Okay. This is. It's like, ah. Uh, uh, geez. I, I mean, this is an independent contract, guys, but like. Is there any kind of long-term investment for this? Do we get like equity in in the investment of the place or anything like that? Does Pope own it? Who owns who owns like the land rights? Now, her being one of the er only Earthers on crew, she starts talking about land rights. It goes back to that very colonial thinking. Listen, we don't know all the details right now, but you know as much as we do, and that comes to that point right there. We could work through it. We could come up with something. Hey, maybe there will be. We're all going to own it, aren't we? I, so we I all get a cut. One person, one, we all get yeah. a cut. No, no, one person. We all live there, so we all own it. But what about when we start selling the whatever we're mining, whatever we're generating there, and the research? I mean, are we just going to go there and do research? Are we going to go there and like mine like these like these uh, guys we're are gonna doing We're going to go there and survive. Yeah, first, yeah, one step at a time. When we get to that... We get to that, but uh, then he's right. We go there, we survive, and we start. We start anew. That's a lot. We're gonna need you. Think of all the things you can do there, yeah, and help the the folks that we're bringing. Everybody on the ship will have an equal opportunity. Nobody's better than the next person beside you. Yeah, Creedy takes a second. Okay. Oh, just take a yeah, deep breath. Yeah, she's. Uh, I, I need rules for everybody. Give me, give me some sort of communication <laughs> test for everyone here to like. Indicate, oh, yeah. like that's what spoke to her. Like, how do you want to? How do you want to persuade her? Is it persuasion? Oh, Are you bargaining? Leadership. I'm hearing. I'm hearing leadership from Wyatt. That's fine. If you need persuasion, whichever skill you want to use, let me know which one you're using. Gambling. Just kidding. Gambling. <laughs> <laughs> the gamble is I won't punch you in the face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Oh, not so good for me. Nineteen with double five or triple five. No, double fives. Ten with a six on the drama. Okay. Seventeen. Oh. Okay. Oh, that's pretty good. So yeah, you guys kind of talk her into yeah, it. Seventeen. You guys kind of talk her into it, and she um, she takes a second and goes, "Yeah, okay. I mean, you guys have been doing pretty good, and I mean, you're gonna find some other med tech. I I I might as well take a stab at getting rich off this. Okay. Okay. Hang on." I'm going to take like two steps forward, like not in her face, mm -hmm. but like really close and just like point a finger like on on her chest. Yeah, that is not what we're going to do. If we're going there, you're not going there to make another dollar. You're not going there to make any money. This is not to get rich. This is not, this is to survive. Do you understand what these people are wanting to do? If you're not on board with, with trying to make life better for everyone, not just for your selfish self, then you can stay behind. Fred Johnson's got plenty of space for uh, people like uh, you. I, she's like, yes. I said, I either I either go out there and, and take a shot at whatever this whatever this thing's gonna be, or I stay here and I'm possibly associated and wanted, and I get picked up by Anderson Dawes. I There's yeah, fuck it, I'll go. She's like, you're right. I, I'll go. Okay. Oh yeah, shit. Okay. 
that one. Oh, we watch, we got to watch yeah. that one. Just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> no, listen, listen. The out of character when Fred Johnson says Zenny suspicious. Zenny wasn't thinking about those ridiculous alien things. Zenny was thinking about this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> the, the most the most dangerous part in the in the yeah. world. It was man. <laughs> it was yeah, it yeah. turns out yeah. they fuck a lot of shit yeah. up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, We've heard from everybody. But the question now is, uh, McMichael's... McMichael's have been standing there nodding behind you. He go, he goes, oh, shit, oh, me? Oh, yeah, no, I'm down. I'm down the clown. This is going to be yeah, fun. You, yeah, you can start a farm. Yeah, man. Uh, what the fuck is the farm? Remember, remember, <laughs> remember Dingo was telling us about horses? Maybe, yeah. we can, maybe we can have horses. Or maybe they have that's, horses out there. I don't know. That's the spirit. Me and you, we're going to build something. I, I'm excited. I'm good. You know what yeah. would be fun, man? Why don't we, we, we yeah, should pull one like that, 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 that dude that had that horse on that picture in uh, Medina Station, we can pull one of him, man. We can, have a, we can oh, do our own yeah. stuff. We can do that whole thing, man. We get the I whole, like we get the whole thing. They got nice flowing locks. We ride in four legged weird things around. That's fucking fun. Yeah, Dude, I'm this, down. This is good. Yeah, all the way from Ganymede, all the way to beyond. Yeah. Yeah, man. I, I hey, man. I've always wanted to. I've always wanted to smoke something growing in the ground, not this high. Yeah. <laughs> You know, this campaign wouldn't work if we didn't have him. We wouldn't, even, we wouldn't survive the planet. <laughs> he's the, uh, yeah. He's, he's, a, the, he's, he's, acquired, he's an acquired taste. Yeah. He's going to be our farmer. <laughs> goal for the end of this campaign, yeah. make sure McMichaels has a farm. <laughs> yeah. Spoiler, yeah, yeah, spoiler alert, McMichaels is the oh, only person. Oh, McMichaels had a yeah. farm. <laughs> yeah, spoiler, he's the only person left alive on the planet. He has a farm. That's fine. <laughs> that's fine. Um, all right, so um, yeah, everyone's kind of down, and, and they're looking at it, and um, you guys kind of plot out to go to Medina Station, get this. This you have this like uh, nice uh, time together. The question now is, and this is for the the senior crew. Uh, do you want to talk? Do you want to send this to um, Pope first and let him know what the plan is, and then you guys have a way forward, or do you want to? Um, I don't think so. I'm here to know. We really need to. We really need to keep in contact with him, though. You can send him we something. Don't have to tell, we don't have to tell him the details, though. Oh no, no, no! I think that we, we should tell him that we're having success, and, and everything you guys, is. A... You do need to deliver. You do have the modules to deliver to him. Right, right. We, is could, yeah, we, we tell him we're laying low, also, yeah, and all that. But uh, yeah, yeah we laying gotta, low. We'll lay low. We're gonna make our delivery, mm -hmm. and we'll get back in touch with you. you but you... everything is good. I will say this too, if you wanted to deliver one of the modules to him, you could put it in a torpedo and send it to him. <laughs> that is an option. Wyatt, Wyatt, it can't be a torpedo that actually blows up. <laughs> no, it's it's hollowed out, yeah. <laughs> yeah we we'll... might want to <laughs> deliver it too, though, yeah, just in case. You yeah. Yeah. Can, can deliver it? Okay. All right. I'd say, we, I'd say we hand deliver it. Don't tell him every little detail yet. Just tell him nope. we'll take care of it. If we give it to him and he screws us. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I'm going to I'm going to do a little hand waving here then. Uh, you guys basically uh, saunter off from Tycho Station full full of the gills with everything you need. You have, you have uh, gas. You're hauling, actually hauling gas down and everything. Um, you guys go by and you uh, go to Pope. You don't dock with him, but you send you you maneuver over using like the mech, uh, these modules and everything, deliver it to him. Um, he's very grateful for that, and he. I want to keep one of them on our ship. Yeah, so you have three, you have so you have two left, or you have one left. Okay, so he goes, and he's very he's very grateful to you for this. Uh, he says this will help us research and find the optimal position. He says he's now trying to secure a colony ship, um, and he's just now kind of trying to figure out how to get past Medina Station with his ship. Uh, do you want to like let him know you have a, you're working on something, or how do you want to do that? I say we let him know that we're working on something, mm -hmm. but not go into full detail of what. Exactly. Yep. Okay. He appreciates that. He'll, he'll he accepts that answer. So, um, okay. So you guys head on over to uh, make the route towards Medina Station on your little your little gas freighter guys. Uh, you guys are hauling cargo uh, in, in, the, in the form of the, the various gases that the Medina Station needs to process all this kind of stuff. Um, Yan's kind of excited to go back. McMichael's is excited to go back. He actually McMichael's never set foot. Um, on Medina Station. Ironically enough, he only had eight foot when he was there too. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but, uh, hey -oh. Hey -oh. <laughs> but yeah, he um uh everyone seems kind of excited. Crazy little she's the one that's kind of off put, but she's kind of coming around to it and just kind of accepting it. Um why you get better with your arm over the month it takes to get out there and everything like that too. So but a, a few months later you guys start you guys bring transit, go through, everything goes through and you're getting ready to dock with Medina Station, which is I think 
where we'll pick it up next time. Unless you guys got some questions you want me to answer real quick. I got nothing right now. Nothing, oh, we're good. I'm excited, yeah. I'm excited, excited for, yeah. for our big I'm Medina. I'm so nervous. Our yeah, big I'm Medina. Last time we were here, someone died. For real. A lot of people died. Several hundred well, died. Well, someone we knew died. For real. Mm -hmm. So that should be good. All right. Hey, everyone. Uh, short game tonight, but we wanted to get up and set up our finale of Medina Station Chronicle. Uh, we have um, Marquia here next week playing uh, Tai E. Gao. Yes. Uh, Representative yes. Tai E. Gao of, of, the, of the Martian Congressional Republic. Uh, we'll have a big giveaway as well. And we will also announce the name and the debut date of phase four of uh, our Express Bus. Our patrons at nine o'clock tonight, Pacific Standard Time, will get notified of what the name is and we'll see the first promo images uh, because they are what keeps us afloat. Uh, we thank them very much. Let me go ahead and put that support in our thing here. It's um, called McMi Mike McMichaels' Farm. McMichaels' yeah. Farm. <laughs> yeah. You're going to get that song stuck in my fucking head. I'm going to hate you. I'm going to hate you for yes. hard, dude. I'm going to get mad. I'm going to get really mad. Nice. Um, yeah, man. How you guys, how's everyone uh, doing post-game there? Pretty good? Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. All right. It's, it's, it was, it was tap yeah. back in. Yes, since, uh, yeah, with us being gone yeah. and then just, you know, with downtime, uh, it's nice to be back. And um, it was good to tie up some things together on mm -hmm. this one mm -hmm. from when we were all last together. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so, highly, yeah. It's super excited. I highly recommend watching the episode of Shlomo because I got, I got really kind of graphic <laughs> with the descriptions of his ship. It was, um, yeah, it was, it was really good, John. I'll, I'll, yeah, Shlomo has, does not have, his ship doesn't have a lot of doors, we'll say. <laughs> oh god. Uh, so like, oh, no. Yeah. Yeah, he's he's pretty hardcore belter. Um yeah, so that was pretty fun. That was a fun little uh lack of privacy for ten days, I think, in Spain yeah. <laughs> situation. Um eating whatever the hell he had. It was a lot of fun. But yeah, everyone, thank you so much. Uh we'll be back next week with uh Marquia. Uh more Abrax Precipice. Uh support us again. Uh there's the link. Um check us out everywhere you can. And I'm gonna go ahead and play us out. All right, we will see you next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.